Gentlemen, our hairstyle makes a statement about who we are. It is a quaffed outward expression of our personal taste, style, and attitude. But on the follicle flip side, if you choose a style that is dated, a little bit lame, or dorky, you are doomed. Like it or not, gentlemen, people are forming opinions on us based solely on what we look like. And hairstyle happens to be one of those things that they actually consider. Is it fair? No. Is it reasonable? Probably not. But is it a reality? Absolutely. And so today, gentlemen, I'm going over 10 hairstyling don'ts. Hairstyling mistake number one, the mullet. Business in front, party in the back. This style gained popularity back in the 80s, but the mullet is still alive and kicking on southern studs, aka redneck. Hairstyle dough number two is dreadlocks on white guys. Fact, dreadlocks are cool on black guys. White dudes just look dirty. Just doesn't work the same. It doesn't translate. Black dude hair is built for dreadlocks. It looks incredible. White dudes, it just looks smelly, dirty, and to get it, ye. Now, that being said, I have seen it work and look incredibly great on a few super studly white dudes, but you're probably not him, and so don't try it. Don't number three, Guido hair. Art, helmet, uber, product and process, gentlemen, it's just the big old don't do it. Don't number four is bad dye job. To die or not to die? This is the question that many men face as the grays start to pop up. Now, I did a video where I took my dad, Papa A, to the salon to undergo a treatment called color camo. It basically leaves a little salt in the pepper and it's remarkable. If you missed that video, it's listed and linked down in the description. Don't number five, you knew it was coming, the comb over. Hair loss is a bitch, boys. Trying to hide it, camouflage it by strategically swirling, combing, growing extra hair long and flipping it over is even more of a bitch. The only one you're fooling is yourself, dude. Everybody else knows that that is strategically grown, flipped. Take it off. You got this. Your confidence is gonna go through the roof. Instead of all day being like, is it still in the, you can just be like, yo, whatever. I'm bald and sexy as hell, peace. Dome number six is Bieber hair. So are you still somebody who's doing that all the time, flipping your freaking hair out of your face? It drives me nuts. You still killing, rocking the Bieber hair? Well, guess what? Have you seen Biebs lately? He upgraded, so should you. Which is the perfect segue into don't number seven, which is keeping a trendy style too long. I'm looking at you, man bun. I'm not saying, I'm just saying it might be time to... Don't number eight is the unrealistic hairstyle. I see this all the time over at Pete and Pedro. Um, guys will send me pictures of themselves and their hair or hairstyle that they're looking for and being like, yo, this is me, this is the hairstyle I want. What product should I use? Because if you guys are looking for the right and the best product for your hair, you can just send us an email at hairhelp at peteandpedro.com. It's listed and linked in the description and we will be happy to make a hair product, not style, product recommendation for you. In order to determine a hairstyle's viability for you, you need to be realistic in terms of hair texture, density, hairline, they're all factors. Don't number nine is greasy hair. This is so incredibly common. Guys use too much product, they don't shower, whatever the problem, their hair looks greasy. All right, there's a big difference between having product in order to style and hold and greasy. Look, my hair, does it look greasy? <laughs> no, but I still got product in it. And don't number 10 is having a hairstyle that you don't dig. All right, we cannot all have luscious, flowing, amazing locks of lusciousness. It's just not in the cards for some of us. But this doesn't mean we can't have a style that we dig. All right, have a style you dig. Also, if you still are like, yo, my hairstyle sucks, I did a video where I go over six common mistakes that are reasons your hairstyle probably sucks and how to fix them. It's in the description. And ladies, <laughs> thanks for watching.